Hi, I'm Rosie Greenberg. I am 26 years old. I was diagnosed with scoliosis at age 13. I was actually at the pediatrician's office and they did that test where you have to touch your toes and the doctor said, you're fine. And my mom said, you're not fine. Um, so she did another look and said that I should maybe go get that checked out. So we booked an appointment with Dr. Newton, who was recommended to us by a family friend who also had scoliosis. So I saw Dr. Newton and my degree of curvature was low 20s, I think 23 degrees. And he said, not, you know, not to worry, we'll keep an eye on it, come back in um, a year and we'll double check. Well, I came back and I think closer to nine months and the curvature had jumped from 23 degrees to 37 degrees. And that's kind of when it started to get a little bit real. I was a ballet dancer, so I saw myself in a leotard and tights every day. I was able to see my ribs shifting and my, my torso completely off kilter. So we didn't brace and then I went to college. And about halfway through my freshman year of college, I had a um, doctor's appointment with Dr. Newton. And again, it had jumped really high to in the 50s. And so we set up a surgery for the end of that academic year, which was in May. And by May, my mom had come to New York to move me out of my apartment with my brother. And she, I think I was, we measured me, I think I was about 5'2", and I'm now 5'6". And I was just completely rotated and contorted and mean and grumpy and not a happy person, um, although I didn't know it at the time. So I flew back and was in complete agony, actually. Um, I had always had a hard time flying or sitting for long periods of time. I'd have to put a water bottle um, on my spine and the seat when I would fly just to get some sort of relief. So I was pretty miserable. Um, the next day I went to into my pre-op with Nurse Amy. I went to bed and the next day I went in for surgery. I spent seven days in the hospital and they were rough. Luckily, my parents were with me every step of the way. My brother, my sister, I think my dad spent every night with me in the hospital, all, all seven of them. And I went home and I rested for about three months. I relearned how to walk. I mean, just walking around the block was such a great feat when I was finally able to do that. And by the end of the summer, I was able to take a um, trip to Hawaii and I was back to normal and everything was great and by September I moved back to New York and started actually um, Pilates and bar classes and moving all the time and I think that my my lifestyle and running has gotten so much better and so much you know, more pain and carefree so I think it's really important to connect with other scoliosis patients. Um, my best friend from childhood actually had this surgery a few years before I did. So talking to her and watching her through her journey really helped to calm me down and, and get me through it. What inspired me to share my story was Dr. Newton actually. I think um, he really believes in what he does and he really believed in me and he got me to such a good place with my, my spine and my health that I want help so one piece of advice I would give to new patients would be don't freak out about it and um, time helps but I also think I don't know how miserable I was until I actually had the surgery and it, life is so much better now